What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we are going to be talking about how to build Mona. Now, I know a lot of people are asking about a lot of different characters, and trust me, I want to get every video out possible. Um, I think for the time being, I'm going to stick to characters I have, just for the sake of argument of, oh, well, he doesn't know what he's talking about because he doesn't have the character. Because, like, D-Luke. I've used D-Luke, I know exactly how to build D-Luke and everything, right? Because in the beta I had him, I used him, etc. But, the thing about that is, I don't really have them here, so I can't really show you and everything like that, so I apologize. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll pull them in the future. Whenever I do pull them, I'll probably make the video then. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing Razor tomorrow, just for anyone that wants to know, probably going to do Razor tomorrow. But, anyways, Mona. So, if you guys don't know, Mona is a Catalyst user, or book user, so to speak, and she is a Water Mage. And she is a damage dealer. Now, the thing about Mona uh, that a lot of people need to understand or that makes her different from most characters or makes Catalyst users different is her auto attacks do water damage. Now, they do damage. Like, like, like if you build attacks, she'll do more damage. But her attacks do water damage. So, um, Elemental Mastery for her is going to play a very, very big role. So, uh, as far as what weapon I have on her, I have Sacrificial Fragments, which is going to give her base attack increase and elemental mastery. Um, it is Refinement Rank 1, it's level 60. After damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 40% chance to end its own cooldown, can only occur once every 30 seconds. So, how, how that works is I pop her E, right? Her E procs five times, two, three, four, and then it explodes. Right now, that is a taunt. Every time that ticks, it gives a chance for her E to reset. Granted, her E her E doesn't have a super long cooldown, but it just gives me more utility to taunt with her. And I mean, this is the only four star book I had, so that's why I did it. Now, if you guys are looking for a really good book for her, I can show you guys. This book right here is really really good for her. Um, Elemental Mastery and Base Attack, same thing as mine. Triggering an Elemental Reaction grants 8% Elemental Damage Bonus for 10 seconds. Max stacks, well, max two stacks. So, she's just going to be getting off even more damage after, you know, she triggers an Elemental Reaction, which basically, you know, water, electricity, water, ice, whatever, right? She will be getting extra damage. She is a damage mage, so you do want to have damage on her. Granted, you do want to have a lot of elemental mastery on her because of that. Um, if you look at the artifacts I have on her, her artifacts aren't the best. I definitely can get some better stuff, but generally, I'm running elemental mastery and then energy recharge because I'm not running her full damage. Um, I want her to play off of Beto, who is my primary damage. So having her ult up a lot more is going to be nice, and then just having the water damage in general is going to be really, really nice. Instructor is super super amazing for her because it gives her plus 80 elemental mastery trust me when i tell you super amazing so starting from the left um this is just you know you have to hp base that hp crit damage which like these two are not good for her really but i mean i didn't really have anything else to you know put on her um right this gives defense crit rate so like it's the same things right nothing crazy anyways uh elemental mastery that's really really good this one, the four piece, after using elemental skill, increases all party members' elemental mastery by 120 for eight seconds. You can rock that on her, and that'll actually be really, really good, right? That's going to be really, really good for her. Now, I didn't have four pieces to put on as instructor, so that's why I don't have that. You could easily rock that if you're going pure damage. Like I said, I'm rocking her. I, I like using her ult a lot to switch off to, like, Chi-Chi or switch off to Beto. So running the energy recharge is fine. Um, attack, HP, defense, this is just whatever piece, you know, I'm running this for the exile set, energy recharge, um, moving on to the next one, this is a defense piece, but that's just, be I just threw something on her, I could easily switch this out for anything, right, um, doesn't matter what, I don't really have a really good piece for this, uh, right now, right, so, I'm just, like I said, I, I, if you guys don't know, I pulled her, like, what, a day or two ago, so, I'm still working on other characters, like Chi Chi, Beto, um venti etc so i haven't really built her super crazy um this is defense attack percent hp percent elemental mastery and then attack percent crit damage hp 
uh, energy recharge. So, uh, yeah, if you want to be, if you want to build Mona, elemental mastery, elemental mastery, elemental mastery. Obviously, you want to build attack percent if you can, but elemental mastery is going to be a very, 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 very good thing for her because everything she does scales off of her attack which she does water damage on her autos, her E, and her ult. So that's also going to be all scaling off of her elemental mastery. Um, very, very cool unit. I love her. I use her all the time. Um, she is never going to be... You're never going to have her as, a, like, a single damage dealer, though. Um, like, Beto, I can just run around the world with Beto and only Beto and just play the game. But as far as her, you're going to want to combo her with somebody that can complement how she plays primarily being an electric unit now um a lot of people are doing the mona lisa combo now i get it haha -ha, mona lisa i got it but like seriously um lisa is one of those units that is pretty lackluster if you look at it from a single unit standpoint lisa by herself isn't super crazy but you partner lisa with mona you know you drop mona's e you switch to Lisa because if you guys don't know about Lisa, Lisa is also a mage. So Lisa also has, um, you know, an elemental auto attack. So you you drop, say you drop down Mona's E, then you start auto attacking with Lisa. You're going to get the elemental reaction off. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, on top of, you can drop Mona ult in the Lisa ult and the ults will just kill everybody. Um... You can use Lisa E. There's just so many combinations with these two in particular. I mean, obviously, you can combo with anybody, right? Um, you can use water and ice. A lot of times, I'll pop this E, switch to Chi Chi, and start freezing enemies, right? You can do that. Um, you could easily go to her, pop her E, and then um, switch to Venti, right? Switch to Venti, pop ult, you know, or do whatever you need to do. So, um, she definitely combos with a lot of characters because of how her abilities work, but generally she's just going to be a combo damage dealer, right? So, um, as far as a lot of people, there's a lot of people that really love her. A lot of people really want her. Now I'm look, yo chat, I'm going to be honest. She, she got the thick damage, right? When it comes to the character. Uh, one cool thing about Mona, which I mean, a lot of you guys should probably know by now. Uh, she can actually swim on water like right her dash allows her to do this so um, This is just one cool thing to note because you know, there's some characters that have things like this There's some characters that don't like every bow user has the r1 ability With r1 what the r ability where they can aim well She kind of has one too where if you right click or if you left shift you know, she sprints, but she turns into water. So instead of her having normal dashes, she dips down, which is pretty interesting. But anyways, that is the Mona best guide video or whatever. Um, you're not going to use her utility. You're just going to use her as combo damage. That's literally it. But you want to build her full damage. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.